Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a countdown widget on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is hop into the App Store here and just tap search at the bottom right and we're gonna search for countdown. Unfortunately, you cannot do this with all of the native apps. You need to download and install a new app. There are a bunch of different options here. This is the top one. It's just called countdown. You can download and install it. After you've done that, let's tap on it and hit new countdown. Now I can name it whatever I want. I'm going to say this is for a family reunion. And I can pick an emoji on here. Um, let's say have a little family emoji. And this is going to be, let's say, December 15th. I'm gonna allow notifications. I'm gonna hit all day here. I'm not gonna repeat it. You can of course choose to repeat either weekly, monthly, yearly, whenever. And then when the countdown finishes, that's when I want it to remind me. You can pick a color. And then at the very bottom, you can't pick the format unless you pay for it, which is perfectly fine. Let's just hit save at the top right. So now you've created that countdown. So there's 50 days left until the family reunion. Now I will hop out of here and tap and hold on the screen on my phone. And I am gonna hit the little plus there. And all I have to do is find the countdown. There it is at the very top. I can choose a couple different formats if I want. I can just have the small one here. And just like that, I have this countdown reunion. Basically, oh, hit cancel here. Basically you can see that countdown right there you can basically control that widget. Again, you can tap the plus and then go to countdown and choose different formats. If you wanted a different format, you could do that as well. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.